Hey everyone, Amy Lou here. Today I want to show you how to do two Easter chicks. It doesn't have to be an Easter chick, it just could be two chicks. But I want to do a cartoon chick. I remember this bird, Tweety Pie, when I was small, uh, when I was a child. It was called Tweety Pie, so cute. So we're going to draw a two Tweety Pie kind of looks for the chickens. But yeah, ultimately there's two of them, so it'll be like two friends. So first thing we're going to do is on your landscape piece of paper with a pencil just draw lightly we're going to do a shape that kind of looks like that for the first one i wanted to draw a circle to begin with because i thought oh we'll just do a circle but i quite like the idea of doing it like that i think it will be a bit easier because then we're going to go up here can you see there and we're just going to go ah and join it up. Join it up. At the top of the head, we've got some hair, which is kind of cute. And then we want to do, you know where you've got that as a cheek? We want to do a cheek the same height. So there's a cheek, there's a cheek. So we want two cheeks, basically. And you want to do some eyes, like you want the eyes to look really cool. But before we do the eyes, we want to do the body. So we're just going to touch about there, make sure it's there, and you're going to go, ah, I kind of like doing like the little bit like up there, but here, and go down, do you know what, let's do a little jaggedy, and up, if you're a bit unsure about the jaggedy bit, maybe just do it straight and do it jaggedy afterwards, you know what I mean, when you go over it. We want to do a little wing, so round, just like that, just a simple wing. I like to sort of put some lines sometimes just to make it look like there's more there. And then the eyes, okay, so you've got one eye, it's going to start on top of the cheek, quite big. The other eye is going to start there. It doesn't have to be the same size because it's kind of like in the distance, it's okay. But you can if you want and you're just any eyes you like everyone's got their own kind of cartoony eyes so it doesn't actually matter <laughs> it looks i didn't realize anyway just it's fine it's fine as it is and then we want a beak so we want to do like a triangle a triangle like that just a simple triangle with like a little nose like a little nostril and then one down here. I mean, you could join that up if you like, to be honest. And we want some legs. So let's do the legs. You want two little lines there, two little lines there. Two little lines. And what I might try and do actually is, I'm gonna rub this bit out because we don't want that little line there. You can turn it into um, one with eyebrows or you could do eyelashes, whatever you want really. And then you want to do the feet. So think about like a frog foot. It's not like a frog foot, but it reminds me of that because it's a cartoon. So you can have one, two, three. There's only kind of three for some reason. I don't know if there is in real life. And then you've got one, two, somewhere there will be fine. So there's my little chick. Now what I might do is I want to rub out there because you don't really need it connected it's kind of obvious that it's connected so we'll just rub that because it gives it a bit more to look at it's kind of cute like that just looking at my other camera okay now the other one i kind of feel like this one's more of a boy one for some reason so we're gonna go round i want to go round like this and miss a gap and then go so it's almost like you're drawing an upside down rainbow, I suppose, but you leave a gap. If you're not sure how to leave a gap, just draw the whole thing and then we'll rub out the other bits. Because then you're going to do a smaller bit. So you're going to do up here and join it up. So it's like this bit's chunky and this bit's a bit smaller. Do some hair, some cool hair. And then you want to do the body because that makes you understand where everything is. But we'll do the wing first. So round here. Oh, I just jogged myself a bit. 
and then you've got the body so we touch about here pause the video if I'm going too fast I've got this habit of going way too fast but I think it's just because I want I'm kind of keen for you to see the finished thing so we're going to touch that bit there and go ah lots of feathers now the other wing is going to be here and to be honest with you let's do another wing there to show that it's there then we want to do a foot or two feet so we're going to do one two this one for some reason is going to be a bit smaller doesn't have to be just be confident when you're drawing it like don't worry too much if it doesn't look like mine it's not a problem if it doesn't look like mine it just means it's going to be slightly different looking so it's fine and then we want to do the eyes and the beak so here like the other one you've got that rainbowy thing and then one there I might do one there as well so you've got like three little lines then I I I I with um I might do some eyebrows and any eyes you like I mean, I'm just gonna do a different eye there we are he kind of looks he looks like me this morning when I got out of bed, I felt a little bit tired. So then we want to do the beak. So round that bit there and join it up. So it's just round across up. And here, a little bit of a line and then. So don't worry if that was really fast, just give it a go. Ultimately, as long as it looks a little bit like a chick, and then it'll be fine. I keep thinking they're baby ducks, but they're chick, they're chicks. They're chicks, guys. Right, let's do this. We're going to colour in. Now, I've got this thing about paint at the moment. I'm just loving using paint. So I am going to get a yellow. I think I'm gonna get a yellow. Oh man, I've got yellow. This is my yellow paint. quite a bit there. I'll put it on foil because then I can throw it away easily. I've got an orange. It's um, cadmium orange but you can just make an orange with red and yellow so don't even worry if you have got it. Right. Oh man I just put it all over my phone. Right. Oh no. The water's green. Oh I don't want a green chicken. Right, I'm literally, because yellow goes over everything, like all the writing, um, all the lines, just colour everything yellow for now. Well, mine looks a bit green now, I'm a bit concerned. It's just because my water was green. It's not ideal, is it? Whoa. Yeah, it's a bit of green going on there, but maybe I've started a new colour of chicken. Okay. Now you're gonna take, you're way gonna take your time with this. Like this will probably take you an hour to paint if you do it carefully. I'm doing mine ridiculously fast so you can see what it looks like. And you can pause the video as well, so don't really need to watch me do it slowly. I don't know if you can see the brush I've got, it's really nice. It's like a flat headed brush. It just means that when I do that, it goes into a really neat line. It's really cool. Also, before you start painting or using chalk or whatever you want to use, maybe go over all the writing, uh, all the, <laughs> I keep saying writing. Maybe you can go over all of the things, like all of the lines in black, perhaps. Might look quite nice. Might look quite nice. Might not, but it might look quite cool. Okay, right, I'm going to do orange feet. I'm using a smaller brush because I want to do, I want to stay in the lines really. Otherwise, it's not very neat, is it? Beak. Is orange normally, isn't it? Could be pink or red if you want, but I'm going to do orange. 
Right, what I quite like is blue. I don't know why, but it reminds me of when I was small and I had a I had a carry cot where I'd sleep and my carry cot was full of these birds on it. So nice. So I think it reminds me of when I was like five or six. I don't think I was six really, do you? And a carry cot. I think I was maybe two or three, but anyway. I remember this. I don't know why, but I do. Right, I'm going to use a little bit of black because black's always good to sort of make things stand out. So, like the little bobbly bits there, black's good. And then the black for the nostril. And also, it's good if you forget something. Like, I've got all the black lines of the pen. But what would be nice is if you went over them. So if you actually, you know, drew over them with a black line of paint or a black line of um, felt tip, whatever worked really. I'm just thinking I might, might colour that. It's a bit watery actually, I've got a bit carried away with the, the water. Okay, right. To do, I mean, you don't really need to do a background, but because it's Eastery, if you want it to be Eastery, some people don't, you could get green. So I'm gonna get green and I'm gonna mix it a bit with yellow. You can hear the foil. And I'm gonna do like, uh, I like the idea of a sketchy background. When I say sketchy, I mean, like I'm touching the edges but I'm not going to the edge of the paper. I just think it looks kind of nice. Makes things, well, you could just do a background. You know, you could draw it, draw them, but you can name them and draw them in a lake or put a love heart or something. Getting more green. It's quite good to outline if you want to go close to it and then do that. My green's not very light. What's quite nice as well is you know when you go out like this, don't go in, go out because it gives you that really nice kind of brush strokey thing. It's just nice, it's just nice guys. Um, you could do it darker because it's quite light my green isn't it? But yeah, I like not going to the edge of the paper, but you might prefer to colour the whole thing. Blue would look good as well, but I seem to always do blue, so I thought I'd give green a go. Right, there, <laughs> there is my little ducklings. Nope, they're my chickens. What you could do as well is, is once it's like dry, you could go over things. Like I actually quite like the idea of doing this, I've just realised. I've just got to rinse out way careful though. I'm going to get a <clears throat> bit of orange because then it will look quite like you've defined. It's quite watery, my orange, though. But I think it would look quite cool because it kind of defines it. But you could do that with chalk. I think it really look better with chalk because you can um, get some pink chalk and smudge over it blend it once it's dry. Once the paint's dry, do that, it'd be awesome. Look really good actually. So I can't stop now. <laughs> stop me. Ooh, we don't need that line there really, do we? In fact, I might take it off. Doesn't really matter if you've got it, but I don't know, it looks better without a line. <laughs> He does look funny, that one. He does remind me of my dad, I'm not sure why. So I'm just going round here and there. It just gives it a little bit more, I don't know, something to look at. It's quite fun. So yeah, feel free to add some orange. Definitely use chalk if you've got it. But then if you don't have chalk, it's okay. Just it's easier. <clears throat> And then I'd probably go around here in um, darker green, actually. I think I would, guys. I'd get like the green as it is, but thicker. And I'd kind of go, you can even mix blue and green to make like a really cool turquoise. The turquoise. But yeah, 
there we have it. There is our little chickies. Really like them actually. What should we call them? I might do Peter and... Right, this one's called Olive and this one's called Peter. Quite like that. I don't know an Olive or a Peter. <laughs> But if I did, I don't think they'd be too happy, maybe. I don't know. Maybe they would. Right, guys, and that is it. I'm just trying to colour in there because we don't want it white. Okay, there we are. And then just sign it. It's always nice, isn't it? Just sign it. And there we have it. Voila, my mum would say. There, is your there are your two chickies. I hope you have a good time doing it. Like, subscribe and share and I shall see you soon.